The Pokemon competitive scene, or the VGC, always had its fair share of competitively bad Pokemon, each generation gaining new additions to this dog water cast. Some of which, hey, I'm just f with you. I know, I didn't trick you because you saw that thumbnail. Let's be honest though, you're here to listen to me talk about anthropomorphic animal ass. So get suited up in your Poke file attire while we dive into the definitive baddest Pokemon. Now, I may be like <laughs> over a year late to this trend, but who said there's a time limit on how late you can win a bang low punny? But unlike these other YouTubers who are opinionated and biased, like, come on, you're telling me you're not clapping up that Melissa. Come on, man. I'm approaching this with facts and logic and numbers. Not just any numbers, though. The ungodly amount of R34 of these questionably erotic characters. Like, in researching this, I've discovered that A, some of the ones that I expected to be higher up on this list are not even on the list. And B, there's so much. <sighs> I'm partially lying, though, about discovering it, because if you've been on my other socials, you know I've been doing this kind of stuff since, like, last December. And all the Pokemon that I've done so far have had their numbers increase. The gap between them is like so big that it, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. So I'm officially the most credible source. <laughs> Sorry, I've been stalling before I uh, say some of the most deplorable things about these fictional creatures. Starting off at number 10, we got an ever-changing four-way clusterfuck between Lycanroc, Lugia, Cinderace, and Absol. Initially, when I was starting this script, it was Lugia, and I was gonna make a whole thing about starting off with the legendary young. What's the appeal with this shack handed ass motherfucker? But no. Now in the lead is Lycanroc, solely because of E621. If we're talking 34, then Cinderace would be in the lead. I promise the rest of this list is still in like somewhat order, mainly because the gaps are like so big and well, exponential that it won't even make a difference no matter how much time passes. I'm also blaming 621 for this because they only give you the estimated numbers and not the exact. And I'll also just be referring to them by their subsequent numbers. So it'll just be 621 and six, uh, 34 going forward. In ninth place, we got Blaziken. With well over 12,000 entries and being our only bird s Pokemon on the list, we seem to be off to a deplorable start. Coming out in Gen 3 and giving it a grand total of 20 years to gather up as many degenerates as it possibly could. Some people took their love for this kick-ass Pokemon to the next level. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Blaziken. I chose Torchic for both of my Emerald and Oraz playthroughs. I'm capping on my ass, you best believe I snatched up that nigga one. But Jesus was this roster one-sided. One-sided in the sense that even though all these starters finished off their lines bearing the curse of standing on two fucking legs, the sheer landslide of Prawn of Blaziken is simply unmatched. Even if you had both of these starters combined, boom. Blaziken is simply an example of the age-old saying, looks human enough. In eighth place is when we start entering what in the actual fuck territory with Arcanine. See, if your brain is still functional and hasn't been set to autopilot yet, you would know that we're gonna see our fair share with furry bait Pokemon. My nigga, this is a dog. To be more exact, it's more like a lion, but you know, where's the appeal? Like yes, it came out in 1996, which doesn't excuse the 13,000, like 13, 13,000, 13,000 plus entries, but it explains how people had more than 27 years to draw this stuff. But like, come on dog. There's so many other Pokemon, better Pokemon, that could have filled this spot. And if this was an opinionated list, then this motherfucker would have stayed in the apparent sex dungeon it originated from. Like, not to spoil the list, but we could add like Mewtwo or Salazzle. Hell, I would have even taken Gujo over this motherfucker. Fun fact, majority of the art drawn of Arcanine is masculine. So yeah, it's not really the straight fairies drawing Arcanine. It's the GAY ones. Next. <laughs> Coming in seventh, a whole 5,000 entries ahead of the absolutely vile number eight, we have Zoroark. Thankfully, we're back to the normalcy of anthropomorphic Pokemon. Well, as normal as a list of baddest Pokemon can get. Being as furry as furry Pokemon come and being a master of illusions, you would think Zoroark would be a prime Kumermon to add to your roster up until you're about to fuck yeah. Like, yeah, you remember those white and black Air Force means? Well, that's basically Zoroark except reverse him and give him both black air forces. See, while you know Vin Zoroark typically only attacks to protect loved ones, i.e. being the young and other Zoroarks, 
His Suyu and Zoroark just doesn't fuck with nobody. Everybody catching that illusion. And yeah, the waifu Mon you caught can transform into both people and Pokemon. But in reality, they're just illusion. So visually, you might be clapping up one of your waifus, but in reality, you're just a fairy. A gay furry at that, because even though most of the art drawn depicts females are arcs, hey, we just check those numbers. <laughs> you like, like boys. Nuh -uh, nuh -uh. Coming out in Gen 6 and being our number 6, we have our second to last fire starter on this list Delphox. I don't know, man. Something about fire types in the furry community seem to go together like anime figurines in jars. Because, Jesus! Being one of the only psychic fire types you can easily get, Delphox ironically was based off of psychics. The way it has more balls than one! 8,000 images in this database, bruh. Mathematically speaking, that's roughly 7,279 femboys you're looking at, bruh. And about 14,000 pairs of balls. Wait, I actually got the script on. This is for breaks in. Why are we wrong, son of a Coming on in Gen 6 and being our number 6, we have our second to last fire start on this list. Break. What? Yeah, that 8,000 from a 4, that's actually breaks. Wait, wait, wait. Take a guess how many Delphox has. 3,000 half of this middle evolution, bro. See, I'm not an expert in fairy ethics and yeah. what's fair game and what isn't. Like, my general assumption when it comes to Pokemon is there's kids, teens, and adults. So, if I put this list in front of you and you choose the left side, then I hope you have a great rest of your day. Oh yeah, one more thing. Numero 5 on our list and being our last fire starter on this list. I know you didn't forget me mentioning that in literally like whatever seconds it was ago. We got Charizard. Who's making these? Why are you? What kind of people are making? Oh, okay. It's only gonna get worse from here. Being one of the most well-known Pokemon and essentially being the poster boy of rarity when it comes to the trading card game. Such fame doesn't come without its downsides. Over 18,000 downsides to be exact, depending on who you ask. Like Charizard being another prime example where looking human enough isn't even part of the criteria when it comes to wanting to shag these creatures. Basically, if people are fond of you and you look cool enough, then be ready for some furries to add fat tits onto you and use your likeness for target practice. <laughs> I also just realized that one animation that shall not be named utilizes both our number six and our number five as their main characters. So maybe they did their research before I did. I don't know, and honestly, I couldn't care because this is some shit that not even therapy could remove from my brain. Maybe a lobotomy though. Moving on. After six entries and coming in as a surprising number four, we have a very familiar face. Low <laughs> I did the big yeah, yeah, yeah. back to the video. Coming out in Gen 4 and being the Pokemon equivalent of Lola Bunny, it's no surprise that this Pokemon has such a cult following behind it, which also wasn't helped by this Joker me popping up a year ago and giving people a new catchphrase to use. Man, there's, there's no, no laws, laws against, against the Pokemon, the Pokemon Batman. Batman. You'd think some heads would have been turned at a game freak when Ken Sugimori concocted what is quite literally one of the purest forms of furry bait. God forbid you want to look up images of your favorite Pokemon, because just the name alone will get you a plethora, oh my gosh, of, N of NSFW images without even having seen them. If you are of age where you have supervised internet access, do not look up your favorite Pokemon, if this is your favorite Pokemon. Yes. And if liking Lopunny is bad, bruh, then they shouldn't have made her so fucking bad, bruh. Like, come on, man. Damn. Like, they even had a second chance to redeem themselves while making her mega. But no, they said, Give her that a bitch leggings, and they better be ripped. Well, we've made it to our top three. You know, I kept saying it was only going to get worse. Take a wild guess who number three is. Could it be Serena? Maybe Zora Nine Tails even. Come on. Guess. I'll just start naming them, and you tell me when to stop. Primarina, Ditto, Incineroar, Machoke, Gudra, Garchomp, Absol, Mewtwo, Militic, Greninja, Reggiram, Mawile, Meloetta, Cinderace, Leo, Vanny, Superior, Gothitelli, Deoxys, Shit, <laughs> even Favramosa? You know why you haven't said stop yet? Because it's fucking Pikachu.
As if God didn't need any more reasons to flood this shithole right now. We've given him a whopping 28,000 more. I guess being the official poster boy of the franchise really does come with its caveats, because good lord, this shit is deplorable. Like with all the ones I previously mentioned, besides a select few, I can kind of see the appeal. Low Pony has her hips, Del Fox is dressed like a witch, Ditto can transform into literally anything, but Pikachu, a literal yellow rodent who is drawn to look as cutesy as possible. One who we've grown up with has had a thousand new lewd images drawn of him every year for the last 26 years. And in case you recall what I said for Brakeson. And half of this middle evolution, bruh! If you're still here after that, I applaud you, because it's only up from here. For our number two spot, we've got the fan favorite Dami Mommy herself, Gardevoir. When we talk about the poster boys or poster girls in this situation, no other can compare to Gardevoir's stranglehold on those Pokemon Smasher passes. Smash! Coming out in Gen 3, 20 days after I was born. Little did Game Freak know of the semen extracting capabilities of this fucking Pokemon. Typically found starting off as a Ralts, if you're able to contain yourself and wait for it to become an adult, unlike most Minecraft YouTubers, you're rewarded with your very own Alt Mommy. When she mega evolves, Dummy Mommy. When she's shiny, oh my god, Dummy God Mommy. For this reason alone, it's not surprising to find her in the number two spot with well over 35,000 photos and counting. When it comes to the highly debated topic of whether smashing a Pokemon would make you a fairy, Gardevoir is almost always, literally always, brought up due to the fact of her being as human as human Pokemon come. You might as well call me a humanoid Pokemon because I can come. Need I say more? Before I tell you who our number one is, which you probably could have deduced by now if you used your brain and it wasn't like completely shut off after Pikachu, what have we learned so far? A. Furries are the ones typically creating this kind of content. I know, right? Big shocker. And B, they really like to draw Pokemon we found cool growing up. So who's a Pokemon that is cool as shit and is a glorified fursona? That's right. A Pokemon with the single most R34 drawn of it is Lucario. Shut the fuck up! Coming out in Gen 4, Lucario was instantly a fan favorite. People first saw Lucario's design and they were like, Hey, that's a pretty good Pokemon. Yeah, it is! Now saying your favorite Pokemon's Lucario can be interpreted in two ways, depending on what subreddit you're on. If there's any Pokemon to be s- wait. If there was gonna be any Pokemon that was guaranteed to be snatched up by furries from the get, it was destined to be Lucario. And it shows with 44,000 photos. Gender doesn't really matter either, because even though Lucario follows the tried and true standard of the 87.5 male to female ratio, that won't stop you from seeing just as much Lucariusy as you would Lucariak. But yeah, that's it guys. There's nothing else left to talk about. This video is basically done. And there's no other Pokemon on this list. And that's it. Hey guys! Did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeon is the most compatible Pokemon, Pokemon for humans? For humans? Not, not only are they in the field egg, egg group, which, which is, is mostly most comprised of mammals, but Vaporeon are an average of 3 feet tall and 63 feet <laughs> yep, you've probably been waiting for this one the entire video. With each passing entry, you were probably thinking, Wait, when's Vaporeon? Isn't that the most compatible- SHUT THE FUCK UP! The reason why I've put off Vaporeon, and frankly, all of the evolutions till the end of the video, is simply because Vaporeon isn't even the most popular of the evolutions. Oh my gosh, oh my- oh. The first three are going to stay the same because they're simply unmatched. In fourth, we now have Umbreon with 25,000 images, beating out Lil Punny by 3,000. In fifth, guess what? It's still not Lil Punny, and it's definitely not who you expected because it's fucking Eevee. The main reason why I push this off till the end, we have the base form of the Eevee Lucians, a Pokemon that is more or less a house pet with the fifth most R34 out of all Pokemon, 1,000 and 10 Pokemon in this universe, and this cat has the fifth most with 23,000. I am appalled. At six, we now have Lopunny, like it even matters anymore. Seventh, guess what? It's another one of these evolutions. Can you guess who it is? Ding, 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 ding. It's Sylveon, 
the Fairy Type 1 introduced 10 years ago, and having little over 19,000 photos in his roster, he's almost racked up about 2,000 photos a year. Isn't that such a cool fun fact? Oh my gosh. You should kill yourself. Number five is our man of the hour, the so-called most compatible Pokemon for Pokemon and human breeding. We've got Vaporeon. With only 18,000 photos, I say only considering he's beat out by three of his brothers and is a whole 5,000 below the base form Eevee. Nine and 10 don't really matter too much to me anymore, but it's Charizard and breaks him. Fun fact, I don't even know why I'm calling these fun facts anymore. These suck ass. If Brakeson was only 600 images lower, he would have gotten beaten out for the number 10 spot by yet another Evolution, Glaceon. Can you see why I left them till the end now? Instead of having a roster of different Pokemon where I could try and crack jokes with each one, we would have had almost five on the list be solely different colors of the same cat. And that's it. Like, for real this time. <laughs> like and subscribe if you want. I don't really know anymore. I'm going to end this off with the same joke I did with my original Vaporeon video. All I'm saying is that when the entire internet was shaming Shane Dawson for nutting on his cat, there were definitely some imposters among them. <laughs>